For number five, I'd like to determine for each of these pairs whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And the answer, in order to analyze this, it depends on the slope. So let's find the slope for each line. For group A, for that first equation, if I divide everything by 4, I end up with y equals 3 over 4 times x plus 1. And with the second equation, if I divide everything by 3, I end up with y equals negative 4 divided by 3x plus 1. And so the slope for the first line is 3 fourths. The slope for the second line is negative 4 over, third, uh, 4 over 3, negative 4 thirds. And that's the situation, that's exactly when we know that the lines are perpendicular. The characteristic that we're seeing here is that we, we have you know, 3 over 4, the reciprocal of that is 4 over 3, and one of them is positive, the other is negative, so these are called opposite reciprocals. Let me note that for parallel lines, we, we would identify parallel lines if we get exactly the same slope. So looking at part B, I can find the slope by putting these into slope-intercept form. It's a, it's a little trickier for these. Uh, for the first equation, I get negative 2y if I subtract 2x from both sides negative 2y equals negative 2x plus 6 and then if I divide each of those terms by negative 2 I get y equals positive x minus 3. For the other line it's actually a little bit simpler since y is all by itself that's the same as y equals negative 4x plus 8. So the slope for the first line is 1 because right? it I don't write it there, but if I wanted to put a number in front of the x and not change the meaning, I could put the number 1 in front of x, so that's the value for the slope. And for the second line, we get a slope of negative 4. So those are neither opposite reciprocals, nor are they the same. Right? And so this is not parallel, nor is it perpendicular, and so neither. That pair doesn't fit into either of those two categories.